What we've seen here over the past couple of days in Juba is uh, an intense political struggle within the ruling party. It's generated violence, it's generated, of course, consequences for civilians, 20,000 of whom have now sought shelter and protection in one of the two UN bases that we have in town. I've just walked through one of these bases. I've listened to women and children to a lot of men who are concerned about their own safety and that's why they've come to the United Nations. And what we as a peacekeeping mission, what we as a UN team can do for people is first and foremost help them with their protection, help them to be able to seek refuge in a safe place. Um, and in addition to that, we, we will be providing water. We're helping them uh, uh, with, with some other requirements. imagine the numbers goes down and so many of them are able to go out to try and f get something to eat so we allow them to go in and out but we try to, we screen them every time they, they come back inside just for their own safety and also to make sure that uh, the, um, the, the security of the, the camp itself is not compromised <laughs> We have also been able to get uh, medical assistance, uh, reinforce our medical services here, so we are able to provide them with emergency medical assistance and we have had cases that we have uh, treated uh, in our facility here. Currently we are dealing with children. Uh, we have about four very sick children with severe malaria and uh, bronchopneumonia. Uh, we've also seen some gunshot injuries, mi very minor, which we've dressed, about six of them this morning, and they have gone back to the IDP camp. Uh, about one and a half hours. Right now they have received the first dose. 